Black Panther Party shows up because, well, there's a picture floating around of what looks to be a student saying, I kill in words written on the arm. All right, so here's some of it. This threat must be taken seriously. This threat was to kill. It isn't just a threat to black children, although it was a directed threat to black children, it is a threat to all children. Because when that child comes to that school to carry out those threats or has her family members, friends, or the KKK that one of the students has warned you about already this previously uh, this evening, come out and carry out those threats, all children are in danger because as you know, bullets have no name. These reports are not just from black people, but white people as well. When will you realize you have a gigantic racial problem in your school and community? Do you not hear the cries of the people here? Don't let it fall on deaf ears. Those that don't see it, don't wanna see it, or can't because they aren't the targets of this racial activity. A three day suspension is not enough. This young lady should be expelled from the sa- for the safety of all the children in this school. You all need to do what's right. And if you can't do what's right by these children, then it may be time for us to take action a community and get some different people in those seats. We demand justice. And that starts with her expulsion. All power to the people. All power to the people. All power to the people. 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 Thank you. All power to the people. Put up the picture they're referring to. I kill in words is what it says. The Black Panther Party had to properly contextualize how this is not simply an issue that targets black students, even though they should not have to make this distinction. This is adverse to all students and the entire system of education there. Members of the original Black Panther Party showed up to the county school board meeting on Monday, addressed the floating image of a white female high school student, Powhatan student, that says, I kill in words, written on arm. The image has been circulating for weeks. But according to ABC 8 News, the concerns of both parents and students kept getting pushed off to a later date. Well, here's what happens when you decide to not engage your community. Some board members began what became a three hour session by condemning the racist comments and incidents cited by the students. Others called out the need for better discipline and policies regarding racist incidents like this. Quote, make no mistake, these were death threats and they should have been treated as such, said one board member, it's unclear what other disciplinary action the student faced besides in school suspension. Though if you let the kids tell it, nothing ever happens in these situations. In the meeting, one student recalled being pushed and called a racial slur. Yet he received in school suspension after pushing the student back in self defense, he said. Another student said it was the norm being called a monkey and a slave every day because his complaints went unanswered by administrators. Even a teacher spoke up as a witness to some of these incidents. Quote, today I had to send out no less than three kids because they thought the N word is funny and I'm over it. Mm. They said in the meeting, put up the principal, you see, The fellow with the two earrings who thinks he's hip and cool and connected. Dr. Christopher M. Summer. Buck stops with him. He is the chief student advocate. That's what you are, sir. You are the chief protector in that school system for those students under your care. 
The county school board is made up of vice chairs, Mrs. Vicki Hurt, Mrs. Susan Smith, Mrs. Jeanne Wade, Chair Dr. James Taylor, and Mrs. Michelle Ward. According to ABC 8 News, in total, more than 50 people begged the county school system to take their experiences seriously. The school board agreed there's a need for change and proposed a workshop to further discuss the issue. Yeah, we, we know it's dire, absolutely, it's bad. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have another meeting and talk about it. That's it. You see, there's a reason why a school may have a what's called ZT policy, zero tolerance. That is to make sure that you eliminate not simply the individual from the uh, developmental uh, stages of education because of the disruption of racism and bigotry and bullying. But you also reshape the culture by showing everybody else who would like to engage in that kind of activity that we are going to handle this in a way that is so precise and so unapologetic that if you think it, it might as well, it is best for you for it to stay inside of your mind. Because as soon as it expresses itself on this campus, this will be your fate. That is how you transform student culture. But if you continue to massage it, act as if, hey, it's just horseplay, you will see the results you're seeing now. Students who are crying for help, parents who are begging for leadership, and school teachers who have become the witness of the feckless leadership around them. All right, Mr. Mayor, thoughts here. Yeah, I think you were spot on, brother. I, I don't know how people are going to argue this, and and I and I, I think one, the one thing I would say though is this teacher is this principal is cool to the white people. He need to be cool to. Mm. Um, uh, his, his audience is not those black students who are suffering through this. Um, this climate. I tell people all the time when people start posting pictures as bold and reckless uh, as this behavior we display. Trust me, there's a culture around them. Policies can't fix this. There's a culture that needs to be corrected. And, and that starts by taking away the head of this. And that, that would be the principle. Because everything stops with him, then other thing starts with him. Right. Whether you're whether you're directly involved or not, you cannot walk in a school and not know your climate. And this people, this this often where a teacher is a witness yeah. tells you how comfortable people are with this behavior. That's right. Very well said. And and we understand culture. You know how I many teachers have seen this, but they're not going to say anything because they fear retaliation, losing their job, losing a promotion, et cetera. Um, so definitely this is a cultural issue. Uh, big ups to um, the original Black Panther organization for standing up and doing what needed to be done by putting this at the forefront of our attention.